that there is another hair sweep. Quite important differences between the view of agonism that I have been putting forward and many other views. Blink's eyes. So you can, of course, after that, choose the type of agonism that you prefer. But I think it's uh, sometimes I... Indignantly. I've been a bit surprised to see that my ideas of agonism were appropriated. Blink's eyes. In ways which do not at all correspond to what I understand by that. Opens eyes wide. Because they were reading my agonism through the other theories of agonism. Keynote speaker two is standing stiffly behind the lecture stand. Small stature, little moustache, hair combed back with a neat part. He speaks with little intonation and large gaps between words and sentences. He avoids eye contact with his audience. Instead, he gazes at an invisible, infinite point in the space, as if he, was, as if he is not really present. On the wall behind keynote speaker two, a large image of an empty bathtub is projected. This piece here um, is Chinese porcelain. Pauses. From the late 12th century. It entered the imperial collection um, at some point. It is no longer in Beijing. It was evacuated by the Chinese bourgeoisie, um, fleeing Mao and his troops. Um, Clears throat, pauses. You may know about a certain piece Martin Heidegger has written on the thing.